Good morning, folks. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2020 on a 20 plate. This is a Vauxhall Vivaro. It is the 1.5 CDTI in the L2 long wheelbase format. Um, so in wheelman's terms, obviously we know that these new Vivaros are basically Peugeot, Citroen, Vauxhall Vivaro, Fiat have got a version of it out now as well. Toyota, it's all the same van, isn't it? Confusingly though, they uh, they all market them in different lengths. So uh, Vauxhall market this as the L2 long wheelbase version. In Peugeot and Citroen terms, this is the extra long wheelbase version. So this is the longest version of this van that you can get basically, is the rather confused way of me trying to explain that to you. Now this is the addition model, not a bad specification, uh, and it's also got quite a few extras fitted to it. As you can probably tell most noticeably, that very expensive Rhino rack up there on the roof. You've got a nice Vanguard pipe tube. Uh, and then the back of the van is lovely, uh, ply lined, kitted out uh, with shelving, etc. It also has some locks for vans, security locks on all of the rear part of the van. So both of your sliding doors, because these are a twin side loading van and your rear barn doors. They've all got the additional locks for van security locks on them. So uh, that's also quite a nice addition as well. That's saving you 160 quid plus the VAT uh, per lock. So that's a good one. Now, uh, for those of you that haven't watched any of our videos before, the purpose of these videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the van. So you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. The vast majority of our customers will purchase having watched these videos, leave a deposit and come and collect or leave a deposit and get a quote for delivery. So there's a couple of different options for you. If you want a part exchange, yes, we can do that. If you want to finance, yes, we can do that as well. Um, so give us a shout with regards to that. Now let's get going on the video, okay? So up here on the roof, you have got this lovely Rhino roof rack system. Um, as anybody knows that knows these racks, it's a very substantial roof rack. Um, it's expensive, okay? That's about 600 quid's worth of rack sat there up there on the roof. Plus your pipe tube, that pipe tube is I think, about 250 a piece. Um, so there's 850 quid just in stuff sat up on the roof, isn't it? Plus the vat, plus the vat as well. Um, and then coming down onto your windscreen, the windscreen is in good overall condition as well. There are no major stone chips or cracks that are gonna cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. The, uh, some people may have noticed you do have a security uh, dash cam fitted to the windscreen on this one as well. So nice little addition there for you as well. There's another couple hundred quid saved. And then coming down onto your bonnet, the bonnet is in good overall condition as well. Um, you may notice that it's got a lovely reflection to the paintwork on this van. Now there are a few minor, minor stone chips on this bonnet. We're not talking anything major, okay? Try and get in close, try and give you an idea. There we go, minor, minor stuff, okay? We will go over it with a touch-up stick before delivery, uh, and that should um, should cover those up quite nicely. There's nothing significant there, basically. Front end of the van, your front grills, front of the front bumper, etc. Those are all in good condition with no damage. Around to your passenger side headlamp unit, that's all good as well. And then your passenger side front bumper corner, that's all good with no scuffs. And if we look down the passenger side of the vehicle from this profile, a um, few things to notice. Look at the reflection of the paintwork it's in lovely condition okay um, nice and shiny for you uh, and from this angle I cannot see any dents or dings to point out to you there are a couple of dents or dings on this van that we need to get sorted out I will point those out to you as we go around around to the driver's side driver's side headlamp units all good driver's side front bumper corner that's all good with no scuffs and then looking down the driver's profile of the van again lovely mirror finish to that paintwork um, now, there is a ding on the sliding door at the moment. We will get that sorted out by the dent man. That should be a fairly easily sortable one to sort. Driver's side front wing with side repeaters, all good. Driver's side front steel wheel has some minor elements of corrosion to the steel wheel. Factory centre cap on it, and we have a continental tyre on the front there. That tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth from what I can see. Where we are with tyres, anything less than three millimetres, we replace the legal limit being 1.6. Mirror unit's all good. Mirrors itself's all good. Driver's side door glass, that's all in good order as well. Driver's side door, that's also in good condition. And unfortunately, you do have a lovely mirror finish to the vehicle that shows me wearing my shorts. Um, driver's side door handle and locks all good. 
if I bring the camera down, have a look at your driver's door edges to your sliding door, and you can see everything lines up nicely. No major damage to there or anything. Getting down low, looking at your lower sills, those are in good, con good condition as well. The protective strips going down the side of the vehicle, those are all in good order. And then your sliding door, this is where we have this little ding, which I've already mentioned. Um, it's a very easy one for the dent man to sort out that one. It's not broken the paint or anything. Um, so that will get sorted on it for you, okay? Sliding door itself, overall good condition. Door handles all good. There's your lock for van security locks. Have a look at your door edges on your sliding door and you can see that those are in good condition as well. Driver's side steel wheel uh, is in pretty good condition actually, to be fair. We have a Continental tyre on there. That tyre has loads of tyre tread depth as you can see. And then rear quarter this side, upper quarter is all good and lower quarter and arch, those are also in good condition as well. Driver's side rear bumper corner is all good. Driver's side rear light unit is all good. Your rear door hinges are in overall good condition. And just giving you another viewpoint of the side of the van from this side. There you go. Looks nice, doesn't it? Round to the back end of the van. And again, this is an area we just need to get the dent man in on. Um, but uh, let's just show you this. So you've got 50-50 split on your rear barn doors. Uh, doors are also in overall good condition. And now this side, driver's side, rear door, bring the camera down, you can see overall good condition. Now that is just a little, such a slight sort of ding on the back there. I don't know. It's not kind of standy out ish but there's something going on there. So we'll get the dent man on there. Locks for van security lock, door handle and locks all good anyway. And then driver's, uh, sorry, passenger side, rear door. There are a couple of dings on this one, which I'll point out to you. So we've got a ding here. And I think we've got something over here, but it's all dent man stuff. So we'll get the dent man on it and he should be able to get those kind of 90% better, but give us a shout if you're interested in it. Once he's been in, we can always send you pictures or just assume that we'll get it sorted out. Rear bumper, as you can see, your rear reflectors are in there. We have reverse parking sensors fitted. There are a couple of minor gouge marks on the black plastic of the rear bumper. Not a lot we can do about those, I'm afraid. But moving inside the vehicle, and obviously being the long wheelbase format, you've got loads of room in there, but you've also got this pretty nice custom racking system. Hopefully that would be useful to you. If it isn't, it can be removed. You do have nice ply lining on your flooring. You've got ply lining on the protection of your rear doors and have a look at the paintwork on the rear doors. You can see the van has not had a hard life with things flying around in the back of it. Obviously shelving inside on both sides. Roof of the, of the inside's good. And then we have a false floor and then you've got additional storage underneath those floors. So if you've got ladders, etc., you can keep them under there if you wanted to. But overall, really nice and tidy inside the van. You know, these uh, painted bits that you quite often see uh, on your rear doors and on the inside of the vans, you know, if it's had a hard life, these are generally scratched and battered, but on this van, they're very nice and tidy. Same as like your tie down points inside aren't full of rubbish, your black plastic uh, trim that covers over the door uh, connection things on the back there is also in good condition. It's not chewed to pieces, so, you know, the van's had a fairly, um, fairly uh, privileged life, to be fair. Looking down the passenger side again, Obviously, on this side, you've got your pipe tube, your Vanguard pipe tube up there on the roof. Uh, and again, nice mirror finish on this side. Uh, bumper corners on the back here, not too bad. Uh, your door hinges, uppers are okay. You've got a small element of corrosion on the bottom door hinge. Why do you get uh, corrosion on those? It's because it sticks out slightly from the van. So in the winter, the salted roads, it gets, um, it gets uh, yeah, a face full of salt, basically. Upper quarter this side's all good, and lower quarter this side, that is also good. Here is your fuel filler with a lockable cap. We have factory steel wheel, centre cap, and another Continental tyre. So we've got three Contis on it so far, and I suspect the fourth may also be a Conti. Tire tread, tire tread depth on that, that's all looking good. And then sliding door this side, that's all good. 
Door lock's all good. Security lock's all good. There we go. Security lock, all your normal door locks. Those are all in good condition. Look at your door edges. They're not battered. Everything aligns up as it should. And then the same on your sliding door on this side as well. Get down low, check out your lower sills. Your protective strips are in good condition. Your passenger front door, that's also in good order. Door glass is good, mirror unit, and mirror's all good. And then the passenger side front wing with side repeater, also in good condition. And then we have, <laughs> we have a budget tire actually. So we have factory steel, minor element of corrosion on the factory steel, factory cap on the front of it, but we do have a Maxxis uh, budget tire on the front there, and that's loads of tire tread depth. So that's obviously been recently replaced. So uh, you've got three Contis, one Maxis. Opening up the van. As you can see, sliding door slides back nicely on this side and holds into position as you'd expect. Uh, entry sills and plastics. We have minor little damage on your entry sill there where something's been dropped on it, but it's interior of the van, so it's not going to cause you any grief. Uh, entry uh, plastic steps good. Bulkhead, that's all looking good. And there you go, just another viewpoint of the van from this angle. But again, you've got access to false floor on this side as well. Passenger side, your passenger side door card, plastic, but in great condition. Entry bins, uh, sorry, your storage bins are in good order, nice and clean. Your um, door shuts, clean and tidy as well. Entry sills and plastics, this side's all good. There's your add blue filler on this side. And then your flooring inside, as you can see, nice condition, no excessive wear or tear there. There's your bonnet pull, I've just pulled that, so we can have a look underneath there. We have an additional glove box in there as well. There's your book pack. And then top of the dashboard, etc., is all looking good. Uh, headlining's all good. And then your seat trim, that's all good as well. You do have storage underneath your front seats. And then around to underneath your bonnet. So, all clean and tidy underneath here. There's your fuse box, there's your battery, there's your oil filler, there's your dipstick, there's your coolant, correct colour coolant for this engine, there's no contamination in it, and there is your screen wash. But as you can see, underneath here, everything is clean and tidy as you would expect it to be. Around to driver's side, and your driver's side door card again, nice and tidy. Storage bin's all good. Electric windows and electric mirrors. Door shuts, again, nice and tidy. Entry sills, not in bad condition. A small elements of wear and tear there, but nothing major. Flooring on the driver's side, small elements of wear and tear, but nothing major. Get a set of rubber mats off eBay to protect your investment. Um, rubber pedals are all good. Seat trim overall good. You've got a little bit of damage there, but overall nice and tidy. You do have an armrest on your driver's side. Seat height adjustment on this side. Headlamp levelers are here. Your, obviously, dashboard vents are here. Cup holder up here. We have more storage on top of the dash there as well. And if we turn the van on, fire her up. So, apart from the three quarters of a tank of diesel, where's this? Uh, we've got, I think, 1,250 miles till the next service. So we'll get it serviced before it goes out the door. Uh, instrument binnacle you can see is nice and clean and tidy it's not full of dust it's not cracked um, all very respectable only warning lights we've got on are i'm not wearing my seat belt the doors are open and the handbrakes on but you can see 46,738 miles steering wheel still got all of your factory texture on there it's not worn through or anything like that it's very neat and tidy over on the right hand side we have your wiper stalk we have the button on the end as your driver information system on your dashboard here volume controls um etc for this uh for the stereo and the telephone system are over here we have on the left hand side cruise control and speed limiter and then we have the old manual lights on this side as well as your indicators up and down over here we have your stereo system so it's DAB, FM and AM with Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Uh, over here we have your normal blower fans uh, and we have hazard warning lights, central locking for the back of the van, central locking for the whole van. 
turn the stereo off. 12 volt power, USB power, six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear is all the way to the left and forward and that will then activate your parking sensors. Have a look in between your seats and you can see it's not full of old McDonald's and all of that. Uh, up here we have SOS button, we have this, will, you can program this to phone through to your dealership, interior lights, map reading lights, um, and on the front here is the uh, security dash cam as well. Um, and that, my friends, I think is about it on the inside. And there we go. There will be 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 <coughs> 672 080. Phone's gone off, cut the video. So anyway, I think I was saying 60 to 70 photos on our website. Um, nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Um, feel free to check us out online. Always good to know who you're buying a van off, isn't it? So we have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Uh, it's a visible company. You can see where we all are with it. Um, and that's it, my friends. Um, if there's any more uh, information you require, feel free to get in touch. Um, essentially, I think what you've got here is a lovely 20 plate, 43,000 mile van with a really nice specification to it in nice condition at, I think, pretty bargain money. So um, get in touch, get it bought. Thanks very much for watching. It's 15 minutes of your life you're never going to get back, but it gives you an honest appraisal of exactly what it is that you're buying. Cheers, folks. Bye.